Hello everyone. Uh, here's Shmuel Zeiler from Razli Security. Glad to meet with you. Uh, in this webinar, we shall uh, webinar we shall be uh, covering the password reset. Uh, this is the our self-service uh, tool which helps user to get a new password or to enable their use their existing password if something has happened without uh, or with the help of uh, the help desk. Uh, just a few words about uh, Razli. Razli was founded in year 1983 and is still doing the same thing that it used to do on that time, which is to develop a top of the line a system software products. And we, in the last decade and a half, we, or two decades, we actually concentrate in security software. And I think that we can offer, to, we can clearly say today that our offering in security is the widest and perhaps uh, the top quality in the market. Um, I would uh, say also that uh, we are entirely focused on the IBM I with all its names. So if I mistake and I call it the uh, AS400, please forgive me. This is the way I, I came to knew it, actually even earlier, the System 38. We have corporate offices in the US, Italy, and Germany. And uh, we stopped counting our sales when we arrived to a reasonable amount, as you can see. We partner with IBM, of course, but with uh, many other companies which have a SIM products or dumb products. SIM is security incident and event management product uh, the, and um, among uh, the, the more uh, known brands, you can find the uh, ArcSight from HP, you can find QRADA from IBM, uh, McAfee, and Juniper, Splunk, and many others. Uh, the DAM is database access monitoring. This market, um, this marketplace is uh, dominated by Interva, uh, and the, the other candidates are McAfee and uh, IBM with uh, Guardium. Um, <clears throat> I think um, it would be wise to say that I be at, uh, Interva actually OEM the iSecurity, and if you buy their agent for the uh, IBM i, then you buy iSecurity. Um, okay, S some of our products are market uh, unique. Uh, among them, uh, our pretty new uh, anti-ransomware, a product which if you, you install on your IBM i only without any hardware, and is protecting you from any uh, currently known ransomware and perhaps also from uh, new ransomwares as and if they will become, let's hope that not. Uh, other, pod, other unique products are change tracker, which automatically tracks any changes to production libraries without any uh, human intervention. And as such, it's 100% accurate. And a product such as Capture, which takes uh, uh, the, the, the images of the screen one after the other and enables you to do a playback as well as to scan. And uh, all, all that with um, just remi remembering that 1,300 captured screens occupy not more than one megabyte. And this is not a mistake, one megabyte for more than 1,000 screens with the ability to scan and to do a playback. Um, this is the, actually the diagram of our major products. Uh, today we shall be speaking uh, just about this password reset. Actually every line here is a product by itself, but I will not cover up uh, the, the products and what they do now because otherwise we shall waste all our time. So let's continue. Password reset. Today, the agenda is quite short, so uh, we shall cover the need 
for password reset. We will be speaking or uh, giving an overview of our implementation of password reset, which is a bit unique. And um, we shall cover the special characteristics of our solution. And we should give two demos. One demo will be a 5250 emulation for those who prefer it. And the others will be uh, entirely web interface demo, uh, which uh, this is the alternative uh, to the 5250 for those who prefer this. So let's start with the need for password reset. Well, things have changed. Today, people are moving from home to work. They, sometimes they work from home, sometimes they move home to the work. In other cases, you know, they, they tend to work on weekends. Uh, they need support. And support is needed usually, so it's said about more than 80% of the time of help desk is consumed to deal with pro problems of signing on, password problems. So, and people intend and wish to have the full capability of having the full support for the password, uh, at least in the level as Google provides so it or Facebook provides it and throughout the full weekend and throughout the full night and throughout the regular hours. So we need a product, the need is for a product which is a self-service password reset. It is known that uh, the, if we count how many, how much time is used by help desk uh, to support the issues of password, we should get to enormous amounts. I will not try to cover up the numbers which are here, but please follow it up if as soon as you manage to get again to this presentation. <clears throat> so what do we have? We have, let's take the overview of the password reset. In our password reset, we have created three steps. The first step is initial identification. If we would have used only the 5250 emulation, then perhaps for those who have forgotten their password, then their initial identification could have been their user profile. But user profile is a well-known item among all the company. And as such, it's not a verification, even not an initial verification of the person who is coming to reset his password. Actually, I am terrified from the idea that somebody will try to identify initially as myself, and then he will see my personal questions, which include uh, what was my mother's maiden name, for example. Uh, this is a really tricky question, but subject to having enough time, people can identify this. So my personal questions are a risk, even if they are just questions presented to those who do, should not see them, and not even if they are presented without answer. As such, our product is divided to three phases. The initial identification, which is based among some characteristics which the user knows and he can provide. The other is a verification, a verification phase in which we accept a, a code from the system and we have to enter it again. The code is accepted either by the, our cell phone or by our email, and as such, we also involve the hardware which should be in our possession with the process itself. So this is what we know, this is what we have, and now comes 
the thing which is even more secured and these are the personal questions which I have set to reset my password. And I can set any number of questions. And the more questions that I set, it, it is better. Because in our implementation, we should take only few questions and the questions which have been taken randomly and not used for a long time. And as such, if I have only three questions and I need three questions, the selection is not going to be high. But if I have 20 questions, then the, I'm all secure. Our solution provides flexibility with languages. Every user will feel himself at home because he will get the, uh, the communication with him will be in his own language. Uh, the procedures can be changed to uh, according to the group of users, and we can classify users per their, uh, uh, per their job or per their importance security-wise. Uh, somebody who is a programmer certainly is not a, should be more secured than somebody who is just an agent who seldomly, seldomly comes and uh, uh, works with the computer. <clears throat> the password reset as part of the eye security uh, can be uh, used with the assistance of the help desk people without compromising the security of our personal questions. I already mentioned that we provide two solutions that, which can be worked, of course, in parallel. You can choose them, whatever you want. They are identical in functionality. One is full-based, full web-based, full web and the other is 50 to 50. Uh, actually, the solution is uh, in use by very large entities, uh, among which I can uh, mention uh, one or two which have even more than 12,000 uh, users working with it. How does it work? So this is the workflow. If somebody has a problem with his password or with his user, he forgot his user, then he either can call the help desk. If they are there, they may assist him. If they are not, then he's forced to go to the alternative, which is to do self-authentication. In either way he chooses, he will have the assistance of the product password reset. Now, how does it work? Depending whether the user is using the 5250 emulation and then he has to sign on via by using a user and a well-known user profile, which we call him forgot, and his password is the word password. So it's very easy to remember. Or simply by clicking on the reset password link URL that exists in his web portal. So in either way, he will get to the initial identification. In the initial identification is a composition of a one up to, I think, a seven or more items, which are things like a date of birth, like uh, um, your cell phone number, like uh, your IDs, your social ID, your worker ID, your uh, room number at work, or something which is uh, pretty much known to the person, at least the combination of which is known to the person, but they are not so much sec uh, secured as personal questions. So as soon as this part is covered, then the initial identification is considered to be to have been approved. And as such, a verification code is being sent. Every step here from here on is dependent on the setting. In some cases, we can skip the verification code if this is our intention. In other cases, we, we can provide we can provide the, the verification code but skip. The, the random personal questions. It, it's everything is set according to the, the, the user himself 
and organization desire. If the verification code has been sent, then we have to, the user has to enter it into the same screen that he identified himself. He cannot get out. Then after he may get some questions in, and, and, uh, and provide the answer to which. As a result, he, he will normally get a one-time password, which uh, he has to re-enter to the system. And as soon as he enters the system using that password, he is forced to change that password uh, to something else. The way that the password is provided depends on the setting again, or his choice, or, or user choice uh, as specified on the screen. So what do we have here? We have a product which works both on web and green screen with different scenarios which are based on the user class. I give here some examples such as employee, manager, agent, programmer, or anything like different. It's multilingual per user, per class, which means as soon as we know who the user is according to the initial questions, we start working with him in his own language. So in several languages, I think 10 languages can, can be utilized in parallel. Actually, every item uh, in the solution, every item that the, customer, that the user may see, uh, can be translated to uh, to any language, and uh, it's in your hands to translate it if he, your language is is not yet included. And we have quite a number of languages. Um, <clears throat> one important question is the the way that people uh, actually register to the system. So we support self-registration. As such, for example, if the user is using uh, the web application, then at the first time after implementation of the system, of the password the reset system, then he will be, the user will be asked to enter his credentials and all the credentials for the initial identification, as well as his personal questions uh, private questions for which he will be able to answer in the future when he releases himself. The same will happen with the green screen interface. Do we have methods to regulate the amount of, of a, such requests? Because usually you start it in the same day, but you wouldn't like that all the company with all the, the hundreds or thousands of users uh, will get the same screen requesting their their um, entry of of uh, information uh, at the same morning and the same time because there are probably are usually some questions about it and so on. So we even have a regulator for it, it's telling and how many users will uh, will get this per 10 minutes. And the, the idea is that this process is spread throughout a, a, a while, perhaps even a week, and this is absolutely in place. So <clears throat> this is one another characteristic. I already mentioned that uh, the verification code is sent to us via email or via cell phone, which are things which we may consider at least uh, as something that we have. Um, we can even send this verification code in two parts, half in the email and half in the cell phone to, more, to have a, another level of security uh, for the verification code. We can either, the user can choose between enabling this password or uh, get displaying a, a new password on the screen or getting an email which will include his password. When he gets the last one, he will not get his, the user profile because it, the risk is when you send a password and a user profile to this at the same time. So we shall just send the password with some other words, but not with the user profile name. Um, so I think that this is covering what I have to say. 
So let's summarize. The flexibility is in all over the product. And we have all the capabilities to classify users and to provide the process that they are going to see in order to pass until they resolve their issue and get their user profile to be active again, enabled again, and or get a new password. So, <clears throat> of course, auditing is very important. Every time the password, we can set up the product so that every time that uh, the password reset is used, the administrator gets an email uh, or a message queue is, uh, um, is alerted. Uh, we, of course, have a full reporting system and auditing in all the needs, the way that uh, we may wish to have it, should it be HTML, PDF, CSV, and even out file, etc. So from here, I would like to go with you and show you uh, the product itself. In, we, in this presentation, have for the future the some slides which uh, include uh, what we are going to see live. But now we shall try to go to the emulation and start working with the emulation itself. So this is the the layout of all the security products. Uh, and we should just now take the start password reset. So either we type this command anywhere or just we select it from the menu. And this is the product uh, that uh, we, sh we work with. <clears throat> OK, so the first step is to identify people. We have two ways, or actually three ways, you can say, uh, to enter the information. First, the self-registration, which is the easiest way and is available both on the 5250 and the web interface. But there is another option, which is just to type in information per user and uh, simply give all the details uh, about it. Uh, for example, let's take George and so this is the information which uh, is requested for George. Uh, if we press enter, we shall have the ability to, to enter some uh, more information such as uh, the personal questions, uh, if we are him and so on, which computers he works with, etc. cetera. Um, the alternative to this is to copy uh, HR data files which exist today and direct them directly into this file. This can help and assist the process by eliminating the need to type in all the information and uh, just uh, leaving the, the, the king for the personal questions. And so these are the, 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 the ways to, to, to do this. So now uh, every person here ha is classified through a class. These are the classes which we provide, we entered here. Uh, I'll show you what is a class. Let's take the default class. So the default class says the following, verification mode. We don't verify the user at all. But of course, this doesn't make sense. So let's try with verified. Um, ver verification means that we should send him a, a, a message, a, 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 a code that he has to receive by email or by cell phone. So uh, we can either skip this, this one for this demo, we shall use the default, but usually you would use one and select whether to get it, whether users here will get it by email or by cell phone, uh, or we can split it to both. <clears throat> we can also set here the number of private questions. Um, it can be either between zero and 10. Uh, we can uh, uh, decide what we want to, uh, the user will get, whether he should get a new password or should get a, a, his user profile being enabled or the user, let the user decide it. So the, this is the level of uh, of flexibility that we provide and uh, what to what to do should we show the 
password on the screen or send it by email or to the cell phone and uh, so on. We have all the possibilities of, set, of setting this uh, product. Uh, of course, the, the pass if we create a new password, then that password will be valid only for a certain number of minutes, which we specify here. So these are examples of how, how we set, at least here for our uh, testing environment and demonstration environment. So this is the, 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 the way of, of the classes. Let's see here the, the system control of password reset. So from here, we can specify who is using the product, uh, whether only uh, by the user, as it is set here, or only by the help desk, or by both of them. We can set up here the maximum users which can uh, will get a request to enter their registration information um, per 10 minutes. This is to regulate time. And this will happen only while our help desk is available for questions. Should I put a slash in the birthday or, or a, a dash? So by the way, the answer to this is you can put whatever you want. We shall remove all the extra characters and just use the numbers for the birthday, uh, regardless whether the, the, the date was specified in uh, the year in four digits or two digits. We shall find if it is true and we shall work with it. So here is the one of the things that we have. The, the other thing from here is the setting of the initial process question. Uh, so you can see here that we, uh, we have several items which we expect every user to type in. This is his identification number, his user number, his username uh, in the computer, or uh, his birthday, uh, cell phone number, email, etc. And here we type a, a combination of numbers which can be between one and any number. And this is the order in which he will have to enter his initial identification. For So as per this setting, initially the user will have to type in his ID number. Let's think about ID number as the social ID in the United States or the identification number in other countries, and the, then the username, and then the birthday. So this is going to be the initial identification to know oh, who, we, who you are, and then to select the class and continue working with you with this person until he gets a, a password. So the combination is flexible and you can set, and you can of course uh, change the, the language and go to other languages and, and, and see them and work with them. And uh, uh, they are all here, uh, too many languages, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to the English one. Okay, so <laughs> it, it's more, flexible. From here, we can also modify all the text in all the products so that everyone will get in his own language all the communication. So, <clears throat> and there are defaults and the translation of the screen here, which exists. This is the product and I'll pass on now the, the keyboard to my colleague, Alex. And Alex will now show you a demonstration, a live demonstration on how the product works. Alex, it's Hello. yours. Hello, gentlemen. And ladies. ladies. Hello, is Alex here from Technical Professional Support Team? I'm going to show you how we're going to reset the password from green screen first. We're using the password, the user, generic user forgot with a known password. 
And here the ID number that every user that wants to get the new password or enable his user, he should write his ID number, for example, his username and birthday. Press enter. And now he has to choose or he want to enable his user or reset his new password for temporary password. Alex, this in this case, there is no verification code. This is because of the settings, so. Exactly. This is the the profile, specific profile that using on on the fly, on the on the display, we, we reset the password and enable the user. So here is the example. Here, is, this is the, our temporary password. So I can take my new temporary password. And now I'm using my user with the, my temporary password. And I'm changing to the new to the new password. Here, here we are. Okay, so uh, let me show you another way to do it. For example, I'm going to our web interface of the product. I'm doing the same. There are many organizations that are using only web interface. Yeah, I'm typing my ID number, the username that I want to password, that I change it or disable it, the birthday. I'm choosing my profile and I can enable user or reset my password and in a few seconds I will get a new password on the screen. Here we are. This is my new password. Temporary. So I'm going to S400 again. That's all. Thank you, Alice. Welcome. <laughs> I enjoy working with you. It's always a pleasure. So this was a brief demonstration of the product. The product is uh, being used by large entities. Uh, things which are so insignificant becomes very significant when you work with the users and as such you need a product which is very flexible can be can adopt the procedures of the organization in which it is being implemented and can be even flexible among groups of people inside the organization itself this is high security password and the high security password that password reset has all these qualifications i encourage you uh, to test run this product and see how it runs and uh, just uh, i already got this a, a question yes it, the, the web the web interface can be running from both the IBM I or from any other attached communication and attached device on which you have the, uh, the web server currently or you wish to build it outside, it, it all works. Uh, gentlemen, this uh, finishes our demonstration. And if uh, you have any questions, please chat them to me 
and I'll try to answer them. I'll be waiting here for some questions and uh, you're invited. Okay, the first one has arrived. <clears throat> yeah, the question is, uh, can we modify the screens to include our logo? Of course, not the green screens, of course, but uh, the web interface screens, of course, I understand that this is the meaning of the question. Yes, it's easy and we can modify it and, and put it uh, in the proper way. Uh, um, actually, we, we have done this, uh, we assisted users in doing this several times. Actually, um, the CS, the, the, uh, we, we can change the CSS of the, of, the, of the pages for the web. We can change the logo and it will become um, more looking uh, like the traditional uh, web portal of the organization. Another question, okay. How is the procedure of combining the product into the web? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll explain. That's easy. That's very easy. I assume that. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know what is the, the exact intention of the question, so I'll try to answer from several angles. Uh, first of all, uh, it's pretty easy to to add the application, the web application which we provide into your web server, um, regardless of the type, as long as it can run a Java application uh, that's uh, all in place. We have done this both outside of the IBM I and inside of the IBM I, and it's uh, usually a short process uh, to apply it. Um, if the question intends uh, how to implement it into the web portal, then when implementing it to the web portal, there, there are three possibilities or three items which should be considered. The first of which is the, uh, the company has to, to add to the web portal a, a password reset link so that if the user forgot his password or has problems with his user, he can click on that on that button or that URL and get into the product and come to the process which we have just demonstrated. The other thing which have to be done is uh, the, uh, to, uh, to add to the web interface of the organization a link which after signing on will the, the process will go to that link, that API, will run that API, let's call it in the way that, that uh, the web people speak, and that API will come out, come up with a, a either processing, a, a, the, either providing the information whether there exists already information for the user or not. And as based on this, uh, it can either automatically or May or by different steps display web pages which request the information, the initial information, and the private questions as well, and all that is provided. Uh, the third item is for user to have the ability to change his personal information. Uh, or his person or his private questions on his own will, and this is the third link which we provide. Uh, we we actually have even a link for a stand the standard change password command or something of course the, the, a replacement for it, so that if the user wishes to handle uh, the the change of the password, he can handle it from and by our uh, provided interface. So this is also all the things that has to be done. Uh, another question, can we do it by SSL? Of course, not of course, as HTTPS should be used and is used by us. Uh, of course, it has to be set so in the web server. And as such, all the, trans the communication is uh, 
secured. Uh, yes, I answer now on another question. Uh, all the passwords are encrypted inside our uh, system, so uh, they can. The information is not known neither to us nor to others. Uh, the only thing that we know is we can verify the answer to be true or false. Uh, let's see if, the, if we get more questions. Ah, can the user forgot be mistakenly disabled? Well, the user forgot has a mechanism which if he gets disabled, he will be automatically re-enabled. And so this, the user which is used to always, uh, to, to always to, for the password reset will always be enabled even if you try to disable it. It's done automatically. Um, okay, this we already answered. Mm -hmm. You are invited to continue with your questions. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Good questions. Okay, I see that people seem to be satisfied with what they have received until now. Uh, so I would like to thank you for participating in this demonstration and webinar in general for the password reset. Thank you and I wish you all a nice day.